How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews back with a little bit of Jack's Abbey up in this piece in the form of their Smoke and Dagger. Yeah, look at that. This be a black lager is brewed with traditional old world ingredients and cutting edge lagering techniques. The perfect balance between old and new. Um, black lager, so it's Smoke and Dagger, so it's a smoked black lager, so it's a, a, a Schwar Ross Schwartz, Schwarz Rosh. It's a smoked Schwarz beer coming at 5.6%. This is can 3-2, today is 6-2. Um, so, three months old, shouldn't put a hurting on this. Uh, this is not my first Jack's Abbey beer review. Uh, it will not be my last. I think it might be the first one I, um, actually, have I reviewed this before? I don't know if I have. Um, but I think it'd be my first smoked beer I've done from these guys. So, label-wise, it's quintessential Jack's Abbey. It's what they do. And as far as that beer looks, I mean, it looks all the part of a dark lager. It's got a little bit of a creamy kind of aspect to it. It comes off a little bit more bocky, kind of doppelbocky, but it definitely looks the part of something rich, dark, and malty. Just get a nose. I mean, it is this mixture of this little bit of bittering pop, a little bit of bittering spice. That's what I kind of expect from a Schwarz beer. Um, but mostly it's this soft kind of creaminess. I don't even want to go like milk chocolate on this. I want to go like an undersweetened kind of chocolate whip cream kind of vibe to it. It has this kind of softness, so you don't really expect that much from a lager with this so subtle smoky component to it. Um, I just reviewed an O'Fallon's um, smoked beer. Um, that came off a little bit more kind of flabby, a little bit fatty, kind of like bologna style kind of smoke. This is a little bit more kind of rich, a little bit more kind of sharper kind of smoke, albeit still a very gentle portion of smoke. And that's pretty much it. So it's got this soft con confectionery thing going on. It's got this little bit of pop of bittering, but it also has a subtle smoke characteristic. Let's dive in. Cheers. I can drink 9,000 of these. You know, I mean, it, it's giving me, it's, it's actually is leaning a little bit more towards kind of kielbasa bologna smoke, but it's not nearly as fatty as that other beer that I mentioned previously. It does have this nice little zing of bittering to it. It doesn't take away from the softness of beer. It, that part is sharp, but the rest of it has that super soft sultriness to it, which again, talk about a lager, not necessarily what you'd expect, but it, it does finish its crisp and clean for its style while giving it a little bit of the softness on the front end. The smoke here isn't gigantic, but it's purposeful. I wouldn't call it the leader in the clubhouse as far as what's impactful here. It's kind of a combination of those roasted darker malts in combination with that little bit of bittering pop in combination with that um, the bit of smokiness. It kind of makes sense. It's smoke and dagger. It's kind of that soft, sultry, creamy, roasted malt smokiness with that little sharp kind of bittering pop. So it kind of makes sense. I know they're just going off cloak and dagger, but it makes sense in my brain. And I think it comes off as, honestly, one of the better smoke beers I've had as of late. Rosh beer be damned. Um, all smoke beers are uh, Rosh beers in my book. And uh, even though this is kind of classified more as a black lager with a bit of smoke characteristic, this is definitely one of the um, one of the better kind of smoked beers I've had. Period. And honestly, it's kind of a back to back thing. I just reviewed the other smoke beer. I'll probably try to upload them both at the same time. Maybe. Would do them a smoky Saturday or some shit like that. And um, honestly, two of the better the smoke, smoky jams that I've had as of late. And it's kind of been a thing. Um, I've talked about this in the other reveals, name it again or mention it again. Um, you know, these are the beers that I kind of uh, been chugging a lot. I mean, I've been chugging them for a while now, but more often than not recently because a, a Facebook group called uh, This Week in Rosh Beer, that's the sticker there again, uh, that was created by John Hall from Beer Edge. Um, magazine and podcast um, and it's just kind of lit the fire on a bunch of people who probably have always drank a bit of smoked beer but uh, been kind of delving and dipping into it a little bit more often and I think that's for the better. I think it makes the world a better place when people drink smoked beer and to be perfectly honest with you you can go a lot worse than this one. It's honestly Jack's Abbey's Lager Game there's no if ands or buts it's one of the best in the country if not the world and, and this is probably one of the more gentle drinkable kind of palatable and I mean that in a sense that I think you can give it to somebody who isn't a big smoke fan who isn't a big Rosh beer fan I give it I think you give this to them and they dig it so it's, it's not like a challenge beer it's not a challenge smoke beer it's something a little bit more approachable a little bit more drinkable 
and it's tasty AF. Like I said, is it one of the better ones I've had as like, yes, probably Mount Rushmore status. I don't know. It's just that good. I mean, the Schlenkeler stuff is kind of like the OG status stuff, but as far as Americanized stuff goes, this is pretty damn up there. Value and availability, uh, anywhere. I can pick this up at any time I want, pretty much. And laying a little secret, four pack, $8.99. That, my friends, is Mount Rushmore status shelfy awesomeness and leave you with if you like what we like this. If you like Shores beer, if you like malty beers, if you like dark lagers, and you like smoke but you don't like it too overbearing, you're going to like this. So there you go. Reviewing the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massif if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little smoke, smoky goodness right now. Hope we'll see you next time. Cheers.